A little while ago, I made a video explaining why Ubuntu is the best Linux distro for newcomers. And right after that, I also made another one highlighting why some people hate Ubuntu. The truth is, while some aspects of Ubuntu might not be to everyone's taste and can be changed easily, there are plenty of simple tweaks and adjustments we can make to seriously improve the Ubuntu experience. In today's video, I'm going to show you 14 important things you should do right after installing Ubuntu 25.04 or any other versions of Ubuntu, explaining why each step matters and how it can make your system faster, cleaner and more personal. So let's dive in. Even if you have just installed a fresh version of Ubuntu, it's crucial to perform a system update because software updates fix security vulnerabilities, patch bugs and improve system stability. Sometimes critical updates are released right after a new version drops and your installation might be missing them. So in order to perform the update, we just simply run this command. This command refreshes your software sources and installs any available updates ensuring your system is secure and up to date. Out of the box, Ubuntu doesn't include support for certain multimedia formats like MP3, MP4 or AVI because of legal and licensing restrictions in some countries. Without this, you won't be able to play a lot of audio and video files. For this, we need to run this command. And this package includes all essential media codecs and Microsoft TrueType fonts ensuring you can play your favorite music, watch videos and open fonts used on many websites without any hiccups. Ubuntu uses Snap packages by default for universal Linux app installations, but not every app is available as a Snap. And many developers prefer Flatpak as a cleaner, sandboxed and often faster alternative. Adding Flatpak support gives you access to thousands of additional apps. And for this installation we need to run these commands. This installs Flatpak and integrates with the GNOME software center. Now you can install popular apps like Spotify, OnlyOffice and OBS Studio directly via Flatpak repositories. By default Ubuntu settings app is a bit limited. To unlock more advanced desktop customization like font changes, window behavior or top bar modifications you need to install GNOME tweaks and run this command from your terminal. This tool lets you personalize your GNOME desktop far beyond what the built-in settings offer. GNOME shell is highly customizable thanks to extensions. These are small add-ons that enhance or tweak desktop functionality like adding weather to your panel customizing your dock or improving window management. Run this command to install GNOME Extension Manager. With Extension Manager, you can easily browse, install and manage GNOME extensions without visiting websites or messing with the command line. If you use a high resolution display like a 2K or 4K monitor, you might notice that the interface elements are either too tiny or too large. That's where fractional scaling comes in. It lets you fine tune display scaling for optimal clarity and readability. Enable fractional scaling in the display setting and pick the scaling factor that works best for your screen and your eyes. GNOME comes with smooth animations for opening windows, switching workspaces and more. While they look nice, these animations can slow down older or less powerful systems. 
disabling them makes your desktop feel snappier and more responsive. In GNOME Tweaks, turn off animations under the Appearance tab to improve the performance. If you are using a laptop, you'll notice Ubuntu only shows a battery icon by default without the actual percentage. That makes it harder to know exactly how much battery you have left. And for this, go to settings, power and turn on show battery percentage for a precise at a glance battery status. Personalizing your desktop makes your environment feel more comfortable and uniquely yours. A good wallpaper and matching accent colors can set the right mood for your work. And also you can play with the dock settings. Right click your desktop, select change background and choose a wallpaper you like and adjust the accent color to match. By default, Ubuntu places a home folder shortcut on your desktop. If you prefer a clean, uncluttered desktop with your wallpaper fully visible, you might want to hide it. And for this, open desktop icon settings and disable so home folder. Now your desktop stays neat and distraction free. And Ubuntu clicking or running apps icon on the dock won't minimize it, it just switches to it. This can feel unintuitive if you are coming from Windows or Mac OS. And in order to fix this, you just need to run this command. This command changes the behavior so you can minimize Windows by clicking their icons, making window management faster and more natural. It's easy to lose track of time when working with your computer. Ubuntu 25.04 introduces a new well-being feature inspired by Android's digital well-being. It helps you monitor screen time, set break reminders, and even dim the screen when you have been working too long. For this, go to setting and well-being. And now you can configure your daily screen time limit and set reminders for eye screen breaks and posture corrections. Before you dive into customizing and installing tons of new software, it's smart to set up a system backup. That way if something breaks or you make a mistake, you can easily roll back to a working state. And now run this command to install time shift. Time shift creates system snapshots, restoring a system to a previous point in time if needed without affecting your personal files. And lastly, no system is truly yours until you install the apps you use daily. Ubuntu's App Center is full of excellent software with verified snap packages and flat packs if you have enabled them. Install essentials like VLC for video, GIMP for photo editing, and Synaptic for advanced package management. Make sure to pick apps with green check mark indicating that they have been verified by Canonical. And that's the 14 important things to do after installing Ubuntu 25.04. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please like and share the video, subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.